and welcome to Aki Now with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today I am bringing you a Harry Potter pin haul. Now I am mainly a Disney pin collector, but with my newfound love for Harry Potter, I needed to start a Harry Potter pin collection. I got my very first Harry Potter pins during my most recent trip to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter over at Universal Studios Orlando. I actually did a video of my Harry Potter merch haul from that recent trip and I'm gonna link it right here. And not only did I get pins during that trip, but I also got a bunch of other things. I got two wands, I got two lanyards, I got a backpack, among other things. So you definitely have to check that out. But today's video is going to be all about pins. These pins are actually from the Harry Potter fan club. It is free to join, but they do have a paid gold membership. With the gold membership, of course, you get some extra perks. As of right now, I am a free fan club member. Once you sign up for the fan club, you can either download the app or you can just do everything through their website. And as part of the membership, you get some really neat things to do. You can actually do some quizzes. Now you can also get pins that are exclusive to the fan club. They are listed under the section called Pin Seeking and these pins are so, so, so cute. And it seems like they're very popular because once I found out about this, I started going through whatever they had listed on their website and there are a lot of the ones that I wanted that were sold out. So I am really keeping an eye on them just in case they restock because again, there's a lot of them that I actually want. But with that said, I did manage to score some pins that are really, really, really nice. And the best part about this was next day shipping. I ordered these pins on March 1st and I already had them the next day and I was pretty surprised and let me tell you, I could get used to next day shipping and I have the box right here I already opened it because I just couldn't wait now something that really caught my eye was their tissue paper and you're probably thinking tissue paper but let me show you look at that tissue paper I mean this is so cool this is the very first thing that caught my eye when I opened the box I think it's so cool that you can see the Niffler there, the Golden Snitch, the Lightning Bolt. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. All right, so now let's start looking at some pins. The very first pin that I have here, it's a pin from my house, Ravenclaw. It says Harry Potter at the very top on the back of the card and it does say Fan Club. And it says Pin Seeking. And at the bottom, it says Ravenclaw House Banner. And here we have a closer look at the pin. The retail price was $9.99. And here's the back of the pin. I think it's so cool. They have the keys with the wings as they're waffling. I think it's so cool. When I say waffling, I mean the waffling on the back of the pin. Now going back to the front of the pin, I did want to point out the colors because Ravenclaw should really be blue and bronze, not blue and silver. The next pin we have is Hedwig. Oh my goodness. I knew that once I started collecting Harry Potter pins, I had to get Hedwig because I just love her. And here is a closer look. We see that she is holding an envelope from Hogwarts and it says Hedwig at the bottom. And here's the back of the pin. This one is a golden color on the back and it has the same kind of waffling, the keys with the wings. Now the next pin we have here is a limited edition pin. Now I didn't really think I was gonna get this but the only reason I got it was because it was limited edition and I love collecting limited edition pins just because in my head, it makes them a lot more collectible when you know that there's just a certain amount of these pins made, that they are limited edition. So I don't know, I think there's something special about collecting limited edition pins, but don't mind me, that is just my reasoning behind getting this pin. But here we have Nearly Headless Nick, and this pin was $19.99. And here we have a closer look. It looks like this is a pin on pin design. I think it's really cute how they have the floating candles above him. 
And here's the back of the pin. This one is also a golden color, just like Hedwig. And it has the same waffling of the keys with the wings. Now, I was looking for an edition size, being that it is supposed to be a limited edition pin, but I don't see that. I did see that there is an L. L as in Lima, <laughs> stamped on the back of the pin and also on the backer card. So if you guys know what that means, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you know if there's a set edition size for this, but it just really caught my eye because it's a limited edition and I live for limited edition pins. Another neat feature about this pin is that it glows in the dark. Nearly headless Nick not only glows in the dark, but the head moves and there is some glow in the dark lettering on the backer card. All right, so I saved my favorite pin for last. This pin is absolutely beautiful. It is just, oh my goodness, there's just so much detail. This is Christmas at Hogwarts and I just needed to get this pin. Look at how gorgeous this pin is. Again, this is Harry Potter fan club at the very top, pin seeking. Retail price for this pin was $14.99. And here we have a closer look. This is a pretty heavy duty pin. It is a pin on pin design. This is such a beautiful pin. There's some writing around it that says muddy grounds were revealed one morning covered in glittering frost. Inside the castle, there was a buzz of Christmas in the air. And it actually has some glittery accents where we're supposed to have snow. And Hedwig at the very top has glitter on her as well. What a gorgeous pin. And here's the back of the pin. And there you have it guys, that was my Harry Potter pin haul. Something that I did want to mention is that I do have my little invoice right here. It's all, it's all caught up because I had to remove my address and things like that. But right over here, it says that it's coming from Harry Potter New York. Which makes me wonder if this actually came from the Harry Potter store in New York. Now, this store is something that people have been talking about for a very long time. This is supposed to be the biggest Harry Potter merch store in the world. It was originally supposed to open in 2020, but due to the pandemic, it was postponed. If you actually go on their website for the Harry Potter store in New York, now it says that it's going to be opening in 2021. There's no actual dates just yet, but I am actually super excited about that. And going back to the pins from today's video, now it kind of makes me wonder if this store is also going to carry the pin sticking pins from the fan club so that's actually something really 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 neat let me know in the comments down below which one of these pins was your favorite let me know if you collect harry potter pins and as usual if you love the things that i talk about definitely subscribe comment like and hit that notification bell so that you can keep winking out with me bye